In today's video, things get a little weird. I'm a little weird and I'm a little goofy. The Timu online website is apparently all the rage now. We've all seen the videos. So I decided to place an order with them myself, but with a twist. I decided to order some items that looked like they would be really weird and try them with you on camera. No way. Uh, go. Oh no. <laughs> I was curious to see if the products would do what they said they would do. I was absolutely shocked at some of the outcomes. Let's find out together if these products are all they're cracked up to be. In case you're not familiar with Timu, it's an online discount website with a variety of products. So here is my order. You can see here that I ordered 20 items for a total of $70.67. I placed my order on May 1st and I received it on May 9th. So that gives you an idea of the time frame for delivery. So let's talk about the products I purchased, try them out and see if the hype is really worth it. Also you guys, make sure to watch until the end because one of these products absolutely blew my mind. I could not believe it. I was not expecting it to work and I am in absolute shock. So make sure to watch till the end so you don't miss it because this is a product you're definitely gonna wanna pick up. So here's the cute little box I got for all of my medical supplies, like my first aid supplies. This thing is adorable, you guys. It's got the little, the little pill top here and the plus sign on the front and it says medical medicine, medicine box. Okay, so let's open it up. It also has this handle here and then inside it's got the tray and then it's just open on the inside here. And I have this whole mess of supplies that we're going to put in here. So you can see the inside of the box. I've got all my goodies. And then we'll put the tray in. Tray. Okay, so I've got my scissors, some eye drops, liquid skin, and then these antibacterial ointments here I'm gonna put in there. And then my band-aids. I know I have more band-aids somewhere in this house, but I'll have to find those later. Whoops. Put the band-aids right here. So we've got our band-aids. And then these are just some extra ibuprofens. So look at that, guys. Isn't this thing so cute? Uh-oh. I'm so excited about this. And then we just close the lid. And look at that. I've got my medical box. So exciting. Okay, now let's try this adorable little contraption here that you're supposed to be able to attach to a water bottle and water your plants. One thing I wanted to show you guys is that I tried it on this bottle and it did not fit. It would not attach and it comes off. It's like, it's like it's too big for this size water bottle. It could just be this brand. It, there may be other water bottles this size that it will fit on and maybe it's just this brand, but I just wanted to show you that it did not fit on here. 
So I had to go out and purchase a larger water bottle for it to work. So I purchased a smart water bottle. I already drank the water. This is just tap water in here, but it did fit on here perfectly. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. So we're gonna try to water one of my plants with this and see if it works. Okay, so I've got my little plant baby here that needs a little bit of water. I am assuming, this did not come with directions, so I'm assuming you pull this off to water the plant. So let's make sure it's on tight and let's give it a go. And it's not working. You can see it's coming out the top there and not, or the side and not the top. Huh. Okay, we'll try to plug it and see if that will work. That's not really working either. You can see it is coming out a little bit here, but it's not shouldn't be coming out the side here. So let me try to reattach it. Maybe I don't have it threaded correctly. Let's try that. And make sure it's really tight. I'm going to put, use a towel. Okay, let's try this again. We'll plug this. Oh, it wants to work so bad, you guys. You can see it is trying to come out, but it's still leaking here pretty badly. So, I don't know if I just got a faulty one. There's like a plastic piece in here that may not belong, and maybe that is part of the problem. Okay, we're gonna give it one more go for video purposes. I am rooting for this thing. I really want it to work. It pours out this end and it still leaks. If I squeeze it, it'll come out but it's also pouring out here. So yeah, I don't know guys, my honest review on this is a no because it, maybe I got a faulty one, but just so you guys know, it is making a huge mess and not really doing me any favors <laughs> watering my plant. So. I would say from like a one to 10, this would be a two. It's cute, so I'm gonna give it a point, but it's not really working. So if any of you guys have tried this and had better luck or know what I'm doing wrong, then maybe give me a comment and let me know. I would love to know. Okay, you guys, so here is the vegetable cutter that I showed you earlier, vegetable slicer peeler whatever you wanna call it. And you can see the, the cutting part right here. It's got the handle. And then this is supposed to collect all of the peels. And I've already washed this and I've washed my cucumber here. And we are gonna try this baby out and see if it, uh, see if it works. If I can get the lid back on. Now looking at these blades, I don't know how well, well you can see them. I don't know, they don't look that great to me. So let's see if they work. So I've got my cucumber here. All right, and my little cutting board just in case it doesn't work. So let's see what happens. Huh, it's not cutting. Nothing's happening. Look at that. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Okay, patience, my friends, patience. No, what the heck? So I don't like slicing towards myself, but apparently that's what you're supposed to do. 
And we've got two peels that just dropped right here. They did not go in the thing. So you, if you go this way, like I do, when I'm peeling things, nothing's happening. But when you go back towards you, it is working and the peel is, does seem to be going into the container. I guess it's, it's cutting down the amount of peels. Oh, oh my. Huh, well, look at that. Is it broken? Okay, okay, it's not broken. Okay, it's not broken, you guys. I think we're probably better off just using a regular peeler that you peel with, like this. Where is my peeler? I think we're better off using the regular old handy dandy peelers that you can go away from you and peel. Because if you're using this contraption, but still getting peels all over, then what's the point when this blade here is much better and faster probably than this. So there you go. There's the vegetable peeler review for you guys. So I figured out what this is for. It's actually to help you carry grocery bags. So apparently this opens up and you slide the bags onto here and then you have like a handle to carry all the bags. So let's see how it works. I'm gonna fill some grocery bags with stuff and then I'm gonna try this out and we'll see how it works. Okay guys, so I filled three bags here with uh, random things from my pantry, like canned goods. And in this one I have like some rice and some noodles and stuff in, in, in this one. And then I have some more canned goods in this one. So I'm trying to put some heavy items here to see if it really works. Okay, so we're gonna try to slide these onto here. It looks like you just push this and there's an opening right here and you slide the bags on like this, the handles. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. We're gonna get all these handles on here. Okay, so under here you can see that it's rubbery, which makes it easier to grip. This is cool, you guys. Okay. And then, so you've got the rubbery grip here, and then you just lift it up, and you can carry your groceries. Or, if you really wanted to be creative, you could use this, get two of them, and use them like weights at your house. like. If you're working out at home, you could fill some bags with <laughs> you could fill some bags with with canned goods, and you could do some some lifting here, like I am. What do you think, guys? This is cool. I need to get more so you could have a couple, and then you can use one, you know, for each arm to carry your groceries in. You guys, look at this. This is cool. I'm so glad I got this. Next, we have this little dicer thing here for vegetables. I think you put something in here and you clasp it and then you cut it through here. Now I've already washed it, so we're gonna try this with a tomato. So hang tight, I'm gonna go grab a tomato and we'll try to slice it up in this little guy here. So you put it in like this. And then I guess it, it rests on these flat things here, see? And then you just hold it like this, and then slice. Totally weird. Very weird, my friends. It's very weird. Kind of cool though, wait. Let's not give up on it. Actually, as I'm going, I kind of dig it. Because it's staying upright as you're slicing and they're not all falling over and you're having to hold on to the actual tomato to keep it in place. So let me bring this up so you can see. Oops, see the slices there? 
and we'll let it out. And it didn't slice all the way through. Okay, so I've got a red potato here. We're gonna try that next. Get that baby in there. Hopefully you guys can see. It doesn't seem to want to let you cut all the way through. It's like, it stops you. But I do kind of like the fact that I'm not having to hold it. You know, if you wanted to make one of those, I don't know if you guys have seen those recipes where you make the potato like this, um, where it's not all the way cut through and you put seasonings and stuff all in between each one of these. This would be good. This would be good for that. But you don't get a, you, it doesn't cut all the way through, but it is easy to just kind of snap them off, I guess. So again, you guys can use your own judgment on this little thing here, but I've demonstrated it for you. It's not bad, so you just have to use your own judgment. While we're working with vegetables, let's go ahead and try out this vegetable chopper here. You can see the grates in there, and this just pulls up, and you probably put the vegetable in there and push down and it'll chop it. So let's give it a try and see if this baby will work. Okay, so I've got this onion that I've peeled because I didn't want a bunch of peels going in here. So I chopped it in half and I peeled it. And then I got this paper plate here. So we're gonna try to figure out if this thing works. So I'm assuming I'm assuming I placed the onion here. Let me turn that so you guys can see it. I'm assuming I placed the onion here. It didn't really come with directions. Okay, let's give this a try and see if it'll chop this onion. Ready, go. Okay. As you can see, I had to push down pretty hard, but I think we might have chopped onions, guys. Let's see. We do. We do. We have chopped onions. We have diced, diced, chopped, whatever you want to call it, onions, if you guys can see those. I know the light's not the best. So I have to push down pretty hard. Now we're going to try the other one. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing, let's try the other Oh, there goes the eyes. There goes the eyes. Let's try the other uh, half of the onion. Okay. Put it in here like this. And let's try it again. Oh my gosh, this thing is pretty cool. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Look at that, it worked. Okay, let's try, let's try a tomato and see if it will cut a tomato. Hold tight. Okay, so I've got a Roma tomato here. Let's try that. I'm gonna put it in the middle here and see if it will cut this. Let me turn this, okay. So here we go, guys. Ready, set, go. Oh no! <laughs> oh, all it did was smush the tomato. No, 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 on the tomato. Mm -mm. Doesn't work, so we'll try a potato. Okay, so we have a red potato here. Let's go ahead and try that. See if it'll cut this baby. Ready, set, go. Oh, perfect. Look at that. That's pretty cool. See those? It kind of makes them almost like, oh, wouldn't you know I had to drop it. It almost makes like french fries. See? So it worked good on the potato. The tomato was a no, and it worked good on the onion. So you guys can use your own judgment on this thing. And I tested it just now 
by dropping it and it did not break. It's still all in one piece. But anyways, that's the vegetable dicer slicer. There we go. Okay, so next we have this little gadget. This is supposed to hold sandwich bags so you can put things in the bags. So let's try it out. So I have a Ziploc bag here. And as you can see, it has like these clips here. If you can see that. So I think you probably, you know, this does not come with directions. So I'm thinking that you slide the bag, the sides of the bags into these here, like so. Hey, you guys, look. I think this thing might actually work. I'm so excited. I have a bag of toasted garlic bagel chips here. Now I have crumbs all over my fingers. Okay. But look, everything went in there perfectly. This is actually a really cute little contraption, you guys. So from a scale to one to 10, I give this guy probably like a nine. This thing's pretty cool, you guys. And then you can see here that, whoops, wrong way. These here fold down. So you can easily fit this in a drawer. I'll probably keep it with my sandwich bags. So it's right there handy in case I need to use it. Okay, you guys, so here are the sponges I got on Timu that are supposed to be similar to the Scrub Daddy or Scrub Mommy sponges. So let's pull one of them out. This is a pink one here. And then here's my old, this is the real deal. This is the real Scrub Daddy here. And you can see that they're almost identical, really. This one's worn out. So we're gonna get rid of this guy and we're gonna replace it with this guy. And then we're gonna use this thing over here on the sink and see if he will stick on there. So hang tight, let me open this and then we'll try it out. Okay, so I've got my little sponge daddy holder here that we are going to stick on the side of the sink here. And make sure that it's on there good. So there he is and then we have the sponge here. Look at that. Look at that. This is so cute. I love this, you guys. Off. On. Off. On. Isn't that so cute? It's like a little smiley face sitting in your sink just ready to say hello, good morning, and have a wonderful day. Okay guys, this is editing Lisa popping in here to let you guys know the sponge is definitely not comparable to the sponge daddy. It is not as good of quality as that, so I just wanted to let you guys know these sponges aren't really worth it. The holder that holds the sponge though is still holding up really well and I absolutely love it. So I figured out what this guy is for. It opens like this. And it's got, you can see the hinge in the back. And this is basically for washing knives or, I, I, you know, things like that. You put the knife in here, you close it up and you can wash it. So that's kind of cool because when we use sponges, sometimes the knives can rip the sponge and whatnot. So this is kind of a cool thing. So let's try it and see how it works. Okay, so we have this knife here that I used to cut the tomato and the potato with the other little contraption that I showed you earlier. So let's wash this knife with this tool. Got a little dish soap on there. And it looks like you just put this over the knife and then you can scrub it. Working good to me, you guys. Yeah, and this is great because this side protects. If you put the blade side in, then this side here will protect your hand from getting cut and then you're not ripping anything. You're not ripping the sponge or anything trying to clean your knife. 
So I think this is a great little contraption here, you guys, and would definitely recommend. Okay, so I've got a couple of inches of water boiling in this pan, and I am gonna go ahead and try, this is supposed to cook an egg, this silicone thing here. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. I've got my egg, I've got my little thing here. So we're gonna put this in the water. There we go. And it's staying upright, it's not falling over, so that's good to know. I'm gonna go ahead and crack the egg and put it in there. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Making a mess, guys. Making a mess. All right, and we're going to let that cook and see what happens. I don't know about you guys, but I don't flip eggs well at all. So I'm excited. If this thing works, that's going to be really cool because you're not using any oil or anything like that. And you don't have to worry about flipping it. So I think it's probably going to be similar to a poached egg if it works. Okay, so it looks like it's done. I've turned off the stove, so now we're gonna go ahead and put it on this plate. One thing I will say is that it seemed like it took a while to cook, like possibly, I think it was probably about 20 minutes, so it takes a little longer to cook in these, but looks like it's done, so let's see how easy we can get it on the plate. Well, look at that. A lot of it stuck to the inside, as you can see. I'm sure it'll probably clean up easily. Um, but yeah, a lot of it stuck to the inside. And this is what you get out of it. So, kind of a compact egg. I, I don't really know if I'd really want my egg like this, but so I'm glad I only got one. I'm not saying that it's like a no, don't get it. I'm just saying this is what it looks like you end up with. So you'll just have to use your own judgment on this product. So here is the squeegee like broom thing. We're gonna try this. I have a lot of dog hair on my floors. So we're gonna try it out. The pole, just these connect together and twist on. It's very lightweight and it doesn't feel extremely sturdy, but I don't really think that it needs to be. It's just a really simple little tool. So let's try it out and see how it works. This step up into my kitchen is where all of the dog hair accumulates. So I thought I would start here and try this out. And honestly, I will say it Definitely grabbed the hair, pushed it all into one spot for me, so that is great. And then when I did pick it up with a dustpan, it did leave all of the, like, dirt behind. So I think it's great for dog hair. You will have to use a broom, though, to sweep up the dirt or vacuum up the dirt that's left behind. I also tried it on my kitchen floor as well. Same situation. It was great. It picked up you know, the dog hair, and you can see there's some string on the floor there. It worked great. I got all of that in the dustpan, except like the dust and the dirt that was left over, which I had to sweep or vacuum up. I didn't try this with water, but I could see where if you had a liquid spill on your floor, this would be great. It's like a squeegee. So you can see there's a lot of uses for this. I definitely recommend. I think it's a great little addition to your cleaning supplies. Here is the microfiber dusting slash cleaning tool that I wanted to show you. They show it using it under furniture or like under refrigerators or between the refrigerator and like the counter. So I thought I would try it under my couch here. There is usually a lot of dog hair that accumulates under here. So I wanted to try it out and see if it worked. And I will have to say it did pull a lot of the hair out but it also all kind of fell to the floor. So I don't know if you'd be better off just vacuuming it. it. I could see where this would work good underneath a refrigerator. I would definitely recommend this for those hard to reach places. Okay, so next we have this thing here. It's like a scrubber. And from what it says online on the website, it is supposed to get the dark gunk off the bottom parts of your pans. 
So we are gonna give this a try. Now by looking at it, I think this will be a total bust. I don't think it's gonna get the stuff off, but we will give it a try. Maybe it will surprise us. So I'm gonna grab a pan and we'll see how this works. Okay, so here's the pan and I have just a little bit of water on it just so it's not like completely dry. I don't have any cleaning solution on here. I'm just going to use this and see what happens. So, <gasps> you guys, are you seeing this? No way, uh, this should be a commercial. I don't even know what this is made out of, but you guys, Look at this. No cleaning solution, just some water and this sponge, this, this miracle sponge. You guys, I am in complete shock over this sponge. I cannot believe it. It just feels like some cheap little sponge. I have no idea what it's made of. I'll have to look and see if it says in the description most of the time when I try things, they don't work, you guys. Especially with stuff like this. This stuff is so hard to remove. I am just in shock, you guys. And I wasn't even using that much pressure. I literally wasn't. I am in so much shock. So 10 out of 10, guys, you gotta get this thing. So now we have this lip mask here. And as you can see, it comes in this package. It looks like it has liquid in it. So according to the website, you're supposed to put it on your lips and it's supposed to do something. So let's open it up and see what we have going on here. Whoa. It's very like slimy and I don't know. It's very weird, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so we're gonna give this a go. Supposedly, it's supposed to like moisturize your lips. Hmm, smells good. Looks really weird. At this point, I had been filming all day, and as you can see, I was starting to lose it a little bit. So a little dancing ensued, and we moved on. Okay, obviously I can't talk with that thing on my mouth. You know, smells good, whatever's on it. Hopefully it's safe. And it's very soft, and apparently you're supposed to leave it on for like 15, 20 minutes. I can't do that when I'm trying to film because obviously you guys, I can't talk to you. So anyways, I don't know what I would rate this. I have no clue. I'd have to try it for a while and see if I really notice a difference. You guys, again, would have to use your own judgment on this product, but I thought I would try it out so you guys could have an idea of what it looks like and kind of like what it does. So, on to the next product. So we also have these little guys here. They are silicone snails. Let me show you up close. They're so cute. And they have all these colors. All these different colors of the silicone snails. And these are supposed to hold your tea bag on the rim of your teacup. So we're going to use the red guy so you can see really well. So here's a mug. We're going to try this. So I went on the website and figured it out. You take the string and you wrap it around the little snail like so. This is so cute. You can even wrap it around a couple times. And there you go. Isn't this adorable, you guys? Oh my gosh, I just love it. So that is the correct way to use the snail. Okay, so we also have this little gadget here that has the different lights that's supposed to help 
with your face and wrinkles and all those fun little joyous things that we experience. So I charged it up. It has a USB charger. I charged it up and it's ready to go. So here is the power button and you push and hold it and you have the blue light and then you just do 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 while you're watching TV or something. I'm assuming. Let me move my hair. Do 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 blue light. And then you hold it down again and it turns off. There we go. So I pushed it twice and I got the green. So now we have the green. Do, 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 do. And it kind of like vibrates if you can hear that. I don't really know what good that does. Oh, oh. That's kind of hot, guys. Okay, it's warm on the green. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. I know nothing about any of this. I'm not an esthetician, but... Huh. Okay, and then... Now we have red. And each color, it, see, it gets a little bit higher noise and there's the red I've seen these on those like stories or like what do you call it Instagram reels or TikToks or whatever where they're like doing their evening routine and stuff and they're just like do to do with these things so I don't know I thought I'd try it, it was a reasonable price I obviously can't tell you if it does anything or not because you know, it probably like works over time, I'm assuming, or anyways. But something to consider, it does turn on, it does show three different light sources, and it also um, does this little vibration, and it kind of gets a little bit warm. So maybe it works. It would be great if it did, right? I hope you guys had as much fun as I did going through all of these Timu products today. We had some surprises, we had some disappointments, but all in all, it was a lot of fun going through these products with you guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave me a like on your way out, subscribe for more budget-friendly content, and if you guys did enjoy this Timu video, Timu content, going through their products, please let me know in the comments and I'll make future videos on this topic. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.